difference quotients. They just keep getting harder and harder, like most of mathematics. But there's the formula. So we're going to do a harder example here. Here's our function. Function of x is square root of 3x. Blech. All right, first thing you do is every time you see an x in the original function, you're going to replace it with the x plus h. And we know what the, the regular function is. We know the function of x is uh, just the square root of 3x. We're going to subtract that. Kabam. Divide that whole thing by h. Okay. Not much to go on, but let's see what we can figure out here. The goal to this difference quotient thing is we need to either remove the original h from the denominator or to change its math format. In other words, just to change it from a, a regular h to like the, the square root of, of h or something along those lines. And to do that, we're going to need to uh, introduce you guys to a new term. And here, how, this is how it goes. There's our original fact, our fraction. It's kind of ugly. But remember, we can multiply that by 1 without changing anything. But it's going to be a different kind of 1. It's going to be what we call the conjugate of this equation, of that mess there. Now, conjugate basically is the exact same thing, right? The exact same terms. Bam, that's the same as that, that's the same as that. But the signs will be different between them, okay? So this is a subtraction, this is, has to be an addition. That makes it a conjugate. But this is not in the form of 1 yet. We, what we multiply by the top, we have to multiply by the bottom, okay? Now we're just going to go ahead and multiply it out. It's kind of ugly, but for one thing, right? The reason we multiply it by a conjugate, right, we change that minus to a plus, is because this is the now the difference of squares rule. It becomes very, very easy. We don't have to multiply everything out. We know the middle terms are going to be opposites of each other, and, and they're going to cancel. So whenever we multiply the difference of squares, all we do is this. We simply square the first term, subtract, square the second term. Okay, that's all we have to do. And it's a huge shortcut. Now, and then the denominator is simply h times the conjugate. Get some working room here. So we know that this square is going to remove this square root symbol, right? They're inverses of each other. Same with this one. Kabam, let's multiply this one out. We get 3x minus 3h. Now it's canceling time. We've got a minus 3x right here. We've got a positive 3x. They're going to cancel very nicely. Leave us with 3h on the top. And from the bottom, it's a mess. You can't do anything there. But what you can do is factor out an h from the top and the bottom, because h divided by h as a factor is 1. So we can get rid of that. And that's your answer. Boom. So the difference quotient from this function is this. That's about as far as you can go. And that is it. MGZ.